Hey everybody, welcome to this video guide for One Piece World Seeker on the Xbox Series X. Today we are completing the achievement Top of the World, which requires you to complete all four challenge missions with the highest grade as Sabo, which is actually five stars or an S rank. So I may be referring to the top grade as five stars or S rank. I am not paying attention to what I'm saying all the time, so please forgive me for any confusion. And this achievement is actually part of the Where Justice Lies DLC, so that would be Sabo's episode. So if you're confused on how to access it, it is just from the main menu. Alright, for this achievement, the challenge missions that are available to you while playing as Sabo are Pickmaster, Battle Test, Thrill Seeker, and Mirror World. I would personally recommend you save this achievement for the complete last in Sabo's episode and that you complete it once you have unlocked all of your skills, or at least have unlocked a majority of the battle boosting skills. It would also be best if you had decent equipment, but I personally focused on my skills. I think my equipment was something random that I picked up that was purple maybe, so I focused on these skills. I was personally playing on standard difficulty, so the problems you may encounter when attempting these challenges may be greater than mine if you are on a harder difficulty, but for most of, if not all of the tips I will be providing, they should still be appropriate for harder difficulties, bar a few damage technicalities like battle test, you need to be able to output a certain amount of damage. So maybe that might be a bit different, but for the most part, my tips will stand for all difficulties. Now, please do take advantage of the time codes that I have provided to you so that way you can jump around the video. If you do need help on a specific challenge, you are welcome to head over to that section and not listen to me ramble on about any challenges that you do not need. All right, now that we have gotten that sort of pseudo intro out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with our very first challenge, Pickmaster. The quest is initially given to you at the south of Amber Harbor. Once you have received the quest, head over to the challenge location at the prison tower. This challenge is fairly easy if I am being honest. Just be sure to unlock all skills that increase your flight abilities and interaction speed, and of course your movement speed. My approach for going for the chest was to simply fly to the chest and then unlock them before I got attacked. If you are quick enough, you will not need to fight any enemies and you should get 5 stars really easily. It's hard to say what the cutoff for 5 stars is, so just make sure that you move as fast as possible. I'm only saying I don't know what the cutoff for 5 stars is because I completed it quick and it doesn't really give an indication as to the time you need. So I'd just say aim for the amount of time that I get or just be as quick as possible, really. Alright, with that out of the way, I will let the remainder of this gameplay speak for itself. Please do skip to the display time code if you want to go ahead and skip to the next challenge. Moving on, we are going to be starting the Battle Test Challenge. For Battle Test, this is received in Steel City, and the quest location is actually in the underground entrance right beside the marine that gives you the quest. So head down there to talk to the pacifista. Now, this challenge is a bit of a mess. As I mentioned earlier, make sure you have all battle boosting skills and some good equipment that can boost your attack damage, but especially make sure you have a lot of battle boosting skills. For this challenge, we need to take down a minimum of 80 enemies within 3 minutes. We are going to be avoiding the pacifista for the most part. Some strategies online suggest you take out the pacifista since it steals your kills. However, I found that it took me far too long to do enough damage to take him out. The strategy that I would recommend is that you build up your tension gauge to 1 bar each time and then use the fire fist special attack. This attack's range is great and with the damage bonuses I had applied while on normal difficulty, I was able to take out nearly every enemy with a single fire fist attack. Just be sure to focus on the spawn locations for the enemies so you can attack them while they are bundled up or hit them when they are all lined up to get as many enemies as possible with a single attack. For this challenge, I finished my first attempt with 76 enemies defeated and then got 5 stars not too long after that attempt. So if you are struggling with this challenge, keep at it until you find your rhythm of attacks and learn the map and you should get it in no time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now let's get started on the challenge Thrill Seeker. For this challenge, the quest giver is located in Sapphire Town and the entrance to the quest location is at the south of Amber Harbor, located underground. So head over to the underground entrance to locate the little girl that is offering up this challenge. For the challenge, some speed and flight bonuses would definitely benefit you, but the most important skill to max out would be Cloak Aura so you can sneak up on the enemies without them noticing you. Consecutive takedowns would be a good skill to have, but is not as necessary as Cloak Aura. Now, when beginning the challenge, you need to take out 9 enemies without being detected within 90 seconds, so I'd recommend you follow along with the video, pausing your game between takedowns so you know the best approach you should take to make it to the next enemy quickly. Good luck on this one, it took me a bunch of attempts to get it just right and learn all of the enemy positions, so you may find yourself in the same boat as me, and maybe that's why you even came to this guide. So just keep at it and keep moving, make sure you do not stop and take advantage of the path that I show you so that way you can get to your enemies as quick as possible. Finally, we are started up on our last challenge mission, Mirror World. This quest is given to you just directly north of Crystal Canyon at the top of the building. Once you have spoken to the quest giver, the challenge can be started just around the southern section of Steel City. The challenge is started by speaking to the little girl near the mirror. Once you speak to her, you are then put into a fight with Katakuri. To achieve an S rank against Katakuri, you need to beat him within 90 seconds. If you are on an easier difficulty, I've seen that you can beat him in like 7 seconds, but I mean if you're here, you're probably on a harder difficulty and are having problems with this challenge. So 7 seconds is kind of unrealistic, it definitely was for me, especially because I was playing on standard difficulty. So my recommendation for these skills is to make sure you buy as many battle skills as possible. The skills I prioritized, and I'd suggest that you prioritize as well, are any skills that boost the fire kick special attack and the skill that allows you to conclude a combo with a barrage of attacks. I cannot for the life of me remember it. It is basically just the gum gum gatling that Luffy had. So I can't remember the name, but make sure that you have the ability to just perform a barrage of attacks once you conclude your combos. The basic strategy for this challenge will be to wait for Katakuri to attack so you have an opening and then build up your tension gauge to one bar in a single combo of attacks. And before the combo finishes naturally, you want to interrupt it with a fire kick or another special attack before he recovers and cannot be hit. If done successfully, you will be able to land a combo and then a special attack within quick succession before he can recover and is able to dodge your attacks. So basically, just keep up that strategy and take any opening possible to hit him so that way you can take him down before your 90 second cutoff. Once you have gotten an S rank in all four challenge missions, you will have unlocked the achievement Top of the World. It is not an extremely difficult achievement when you have all of these skills unlocked, but I definitely recommend you approach each challenge with a strategy in mind. I hope I was able to help you beat any of the challenges that are bothering you and help you unlock this achievement. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please, if you did like the video and appreciate the help that I've given you, stick around and subscribe to my channel because I've got a bunch more videos coming out for One Piece World Seeker. Take care, everybody.